Hi guys, my name is Andrew Ravina and this is Interesting Random Facts Academy Football and right now it's January and in the world of football or soccer we're seeing all domestic European leagues having its games but what's happening in Brazil? Yes, let's talk about the state championship a tournament that occurs in all 27 states of Brazil from the months of January to April but first of all, did you see the button? Yes, the subscribe button. Click the subscribe button because after you click the subscribe button, you're gonna be a new subscriber to Interesting Random Facts Academy. Well, without further ado, let's begin. In 1902, the first state league, the Paulista League from the state of Sao Paulo was formed. In 1906, the Carioca State Championship from the state of Rio de Janeiro was formed. And then other state championships were formed in Brazil. The state championship was the first professional football tournament to be formed in Brazil due to economic and geographic reasons. One of the geographic reasons that Brazil wasn't able to make a national league at that time was due to the distance between Brazil's biggest cities and the quantity of states that Brazil had. From the early 1900s to the 1970s, the state championship remained as one of the biggest tournaments in Brazil. However, from the 1980s to the 1990s, the state championship became more of a secondary tournament with the rise of other competitions such as the Brazilian League, the Copa Libertadores and the Copa do Brasil. Today, the state championship is considered more of a pre-season tournament for bigger teams, but it also serves as a big tournament for smaller Brazilian teams. Now that you know a little bit about the format of the state championships, Let's talk about the format. To make it more simple, let's pick a specific state championship and talk about how it works. Let's talk about the Paulista State Championship, the Campeonato Paulista, the most competitive state championship in Brazil that has teams like Corinthians, São Paulo, Palmeiras and Santos. First, there is more than one division. Since the state São Paulo has more than 90 professional football clubs, there is the 1st, 2nd, 3rd and 4th division of the Paulista State Championship. But Enrique, isn't the state championship a knockout tournament? Yes, but there is a group stage where the bottom two teams get relegated. Now, getting to how teams get into the knockout stages of the Paulista State Championship, there are four groups of four teams. But instead of the team facing a team that is in their same group, the team faces every other team from the other groups making a total of 12 games in the group stage. After the group stage, the two best teams in each group get to face each other in the quarterfinals. The team that finishes in first gets to play their game at home, while the second team gets to play their game away. After the quarterfinals, we have the semifinals, much like any cup in the world. And then every state has its state championship final, which is a two-leg game, one of the teams home and the other away. The finalists that made a better campaign in the group stage gets to play their second leg game at home. After the two leg games, the team with the best aggregate score becomes champions of their state. Besides the Paulista State Championship, there are other tournaments that are worth watching, such as the Carioca State Championship that includes teams such as Botafogo, Flamengo, Fluminense and Vasco da Gama. There is the Mineiro State Championship from the state of Minas Gerais that includes teams such as Atlético Mineiro and Cruzeiro. There is the Gaúcho State Championship which includes both Internacional and Grêmio. There is the Baiano State Championship from the state of Bahia that includes teams such as Bahia and Vitória. There is the Paranaense State Championship from the state of Paraná that includes teams such as Atlético Paranaense and Coritiba. You get it. Today, a team performing well in this competition qualifies them to play the Copa Verde and Copa do Nordeste with the team is either from the north part or northeast part of Brazil. He also qualifies them to play the fourth division of the Brazilian league with the team currently doesn't play any national division and even makes them qualify to play the Copa do Brasil, which is the most profitable domestic tournament in Brazil. Overall, the Brazilian State Championship is way more than a preseason tournament. It has been here with us for more than a century, and every year we see iconic moments, big rivalry games, and beautiful underdog stories.